Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you how to add a green screen effect in LumiFusion. In my last video I showed you how to add a green screen effect to your live streaming setup in OBS. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link to it up there and in the description below. Today I'll be using LumiFusion on the iPad and adding the green screen effect that can help you go from scenes like this to this to even this. Unlike in a live setting where you have to not only preset your parameters and adjust on the go if anything changes with your green screen setup, with editing in post you can add the green screen effect or chroma key effect to content that you're making for private use, YouTube or any other social or media platforms, thus enabling you to be able to record in front of a green screen without the pressure of making sure that your actual background has been taken out of your shot as all the background editing is done after, using programs like LumaFusion, which means that you can take your time and ensure that you're happy with the content you export. I'm using LumaFusion on this iPad, but this tutorial can also be used for LumaFusion app on the iPhone or on the Mac. So let's get over to the iPad. The picture I'll be using will be the beach photo that I used in the intro. If anyone can guess where that photo was taken, let me know in the comments below. I'll also be using a couple of plain background images as well. The main video footage with me in front of the green screen will be my A-roll from my last video. I've opened up a new project and as my media are photos and videos, I can obtain them directly from the photo source. And to create the composite clip, First, I need to drag the background image onto the timeline. And I'm going to extend the length of the clip as well, because the green screen clip is a lot longer than this. And then I'm going to select the green screen clip and add it to the track above the original, and then adjust the background image length. So we're both 1 minute 35. And as you can see, it's just the green screen clip that you can see now. You can't see the background clip at all. So for the moment, I'm just going to hide the background image by selecting the eye on the first track. And that will just hide this image. And now for the green screen editing. It would probably be best to edit the whole clip first if you intend on adding other clips later in between the cut sections of the green screen clip. No worries if you do though, as you can always copy any attributes applied to one cut clip and add it to another clip. So double click on the green screen clip, select colour and effects on the bottom row, and on the top right row select keyers. You'll see that there's different keyers available if you have other different coloured screens, but for this video I'll be using the green screen key. As you can see with the LumaFusion key detection, initially it does take away a lot of the background but it's still not perfect. So if you want a more accurate key we're going to select the colour dropper. So selecting the colour dropper, this will temporarily disable the green screen effect just to allow you to get to the exact match of where you want the green to be. So I'm going to select that and that's a little bit better compared to the automatic key detection. So we're going to have to adjust the settings to see what works best. Hue, saturation and brightness is to do with the actual colour of the images while erosion, edge blur and spill suppression are to do with the actual chroma effect. You can do further fine tuning by pressing the mask button just to see if there are any other areas, particularly around the edges of the subject that can be tidied up. So I'm going to press the mask button here and as you can see it's a very untidy around the edges and sort of around where my glasses are. So just playing around with those, the hue, saturation and brightness, let's see what we can do to tidy that up. while lowering the hue gets rid of some of those it actually creates problems elsewhere so it's sort of a touch and go to see and just having to play about lowering the saturation just clears up the rest of that decrease the brightness as you can see that happens so it's just about playing around with the ranges and the values just to see where you get the maximum benefit for the green screen just play the clip with the mask on. You can still see there's a few areas that, particularly around the frame with my glasses, that I'm probably not going to be able to get rid of. 
but generally on the whole that's pretty good. So I'm going to take the mask back off again. Play it again. And even on the black background it still looks pretty good. So I'm going to go back into the main page. Enable my background image by pressing the I button. And as you can see that it's as if I'm really on a beach. So we're just going to go back into the settings. See if we can do any minor adjustments. If you find that there are any flickerings of the green screen, particularly around the edges of the subject, to help with this, you can increase the erosion distance. If this especially is good if you want to more of a soft look around the edge of the subject. But as you can see, by increasing that, it sort of takes away the edges of my body and my frame. You can compensate that with the blur, the edge blur radius. Make it more blurry around the edges or less blurry, depends on your taste. And you can change sort of the, the hue of the green if there is any green spill by increasing or decreasing the spill suppression. And I'm pretty happy with that. So once you're happy with those adjustments, click the back button and return to the main page. You'll now see that you've got a combined composite clip less the green screen background in your video. And if you still need to make any minor adjustments to the green screen clip, you can still double click on that track at any time and fine tune the settings. After a few more minor adjustments and added effects, you can export the project and you'll end up with a finished clip like this. And there you go. That is how you add the green screen effect in LumiFusion. That can help give your videos that extra something. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want, before the time runs out. Three, two, one.